In my opinion, India is at the crux of climate change. And if India decides to take a route for access to energy which is not in consonant with climate change needs, the impact would be devastating, not only to India, but to the entire world. As part of my parliamentary duties in the Indian Parliament, I managed to put together a bill called the Climate Bill. What it did was to try and establish an authority which measured the amount of carbon emissions, uh, set a target for the carbon emissions and put a price on the carbon emissions, thereby creating a market which could be regulated on the basis of certain set targets. I think this brought attention of the government to the cause of climate change and set about defining a pattern for, on which the government could act on. I was part of a group which worked with the Indian government as a sitting member of parliament. We formed a pressure group to try and increase the budget for renewables. We managed to actually double the budget in the year 2009 to 2010 and continuously doubled it up until 2014. That's been a very big achievement of this pressure group, something which I was a part of. I think one of the foremost learnings from my time at the University of Chicago is that the reliance on empirical evidence for policy making is not there in most governments and is certainly missing in the quantity I would like to see it in, in the Indian government. I think it's important that when we take policy decisions, we rely on empirical data and evidence and spend a little time researching such uh, these matters before we take major policy decisions. Will to fight the impact of climate change to try and circumvent the impact of climate change while it exists it still needs to be fortified much more. I think a lot more needs to be done by India and the rest of the world to ensure that the impact of climate change is limited or circumvented.